Sam, Sam, we love Luke. When we found out he was trying to rescue you, we tried to help. Sam! Oh, sh**. We didn't know she could do this. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I want to watch um, Gen V, episode 4, entitled The Whole Truth. Finally get into this. Can't wait to find out the whole truth. Are we going to get it? Last we left, um, Cricket was in, in that dude's ear. <laughs> and all those guards were running in. And also, it kind of looked like um, Marie had sort of bonded a little bit with uh, the other two girls and and then um, Andre came running in going I think I fucked up. Cricket's in trouble. So that's where we're at. So let's just uh, get going. I've been dying to watch this episode for a week. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, if you like full reactions or early releases, they are on my Patreon. Link is down below. Let's do it. Oh, she's back in his ear. What the hell happened? Maybe Sam penetrated the ear canal with uh, his member? Ah. That's the sum total of your searing insight that Sam skull fucked Bob here. Okay, this is Greg. And I don't know. Sam's stronger than Gunner Boy ever was. Oh shit. Did Sam do all that? Find Sam. I want the whole security team on this. Half of them are dead. Then use the other half. That her shoe? Oh, she's gonna get busted. It looks like a meteor crashed here. Maybe Sam can jump like Maeve does? He landed here with Emma and then jumped again. What were you thinking? I had to do something. You didn't do anything. And of all people, you went to Emma? What is it? New rankings are out. Andre's number one, you're two, and I'm still five. Congrats. Rankings? Really? We got bigger fucking problems. Says number one. But you're right. We do. Turns out the school has a fucking Mangala health clinic. We don't know who's in on it. If Brink was, maybe other professors, maybe Dean Shetty. You're just gonna end up like that fucking cricket. Emma, the lost girl who's in deep shit? Jordan's right. Fucking thank you. Wherever Emma is, it's not here. Okay, come on. I told you not to do anything stupid. This girl could be dead, Andre. We are in over our heads. Yeah, they're not big on killing people either because they're kind of young and whatnot. Are you okay? Did I, did I squash you? You look a little bigger. Did you grow? I think I must have swallowed something <laughs> when I went through that guy's head. Gross. Part of his brain. Where are we? Old drive-in movie place. I killed that guy. He, he was a sadistic asshole. Does that make you feel any better? <laughs> what if he had kids? You saved me. Okay. There's only one person who can help. I, 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 I gotta get a hold of Luke. Uh-oh. So sorry. Your brother died. I know I make weird jokes, but that's a, that's a really, really weird joke. It's not. I should have told you sooner. I am so sorry. What, what are you talking about? Nothing could kill Luke. He's, 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 he's too strong. He killed himself. Wait, no. Uh... I'm sorry. No, oh, you might squash her. Everybody always leaves me. I promise I'm with you. Yeah, they would make scattered clues and a good couple. I'm Tech Knight. And I won't stop searching until I've found the whole truth. With Tech Knight. Godolkin University, a place where only the bravest heroes graduate. Queen Maeve, the Deep, A-Train. But tragedy has rocked this institution to its core. But why did the Golden Boy, who had everything, do it? This whole case is a rabbit hole into the unknown, and I won't stop plunging its depths until I get them. <laughs> plunging its depths? I mean, what? Come on. I slit a sheet, a sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I sit. <laughs> it's an honor to have such an esteemed alumnus back with us. <laughs> Bullshit. You hate that I'm here. 
I make you nervous. Was it Ironcast who killed himself the morning after you interrogated him? Strange how many of your subjects end up dead or beaten into comas. I myself have nothing to hide. Are you sure about that? That small bead of sweat on your brow, adrenaline seeping from your pores, and you're ovulating, by the way. You must be a delight at parties. <laughs> Hashtag why did Golden Boy do it is still trending, number one. What has Ashley told you? You mean, did she tell me that Golden Boy killed Brink in a misguided attempt to rescue his brother from the woods? You're gonna blame an innocent student for Luke's hysteria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just stay away from the top five. Oh, he's not going to. For background, Sam, is it? Oh no, I'm afraid that's not possible. He's far too dangerous. I'm gonna need access to the tapes from campus surveillance. A full list of golden boys, classmates, girlfriends, fuck boys. I remember the name Tech Knight, but I don't remember. Was, he wasn't in the boys, was he? Fuck. Was he referenced in the boys? You look high as fuck. But me? No. You're right. And I'm sorry, I should have listened. I don't know where Emma is, and I don't know what to do. I might also be a tiny bit high as fuck. And my dad knows. Knows what? About the woods, what they're doing. And he told me to drop it. Jesus. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to protect you. No. This whole time, he was mixed up in all this. He's not the man that I thought he was. The truth. Rufus, right? I heard you're a psychic. You're looking for your roommate, but she's not the only girl you're looking for. I don't have any money. There are other ways you can thank me. Right. This was a mistake. I just need something that belongs to her. I can see your friend. She looks rough. And she's with some dude. Come closer. I need a stronger connection. <laughs> Don't trust this shit. Oh, I'm busy. What the fuck? Oh, it's not what it looks like. What the fuck? Ah, stop! What the fucking crazy cut? Ah! Who did that? Dope. How'd you do that? No idea. I would kill uh, you just go. covered in blood. I'm not throwing it all away. I'm not, but Emma's my friend. Tech fucking night is on campus. If he finds out what you're doing, you're lucky you end up in prison. He fucks people up. Since when do you care about anyone not named Jordan? Fine. Next time I won't rescue you then. You didn't. Fucking did. I exploded his dick. Because I distracted him. Tag team cock explosion. I like Jordan. But just play it like we talked about. How did she blow up his dick? Audrey. That's not a power she had. This goes bad. I won't be able to save you. Theophilus Thistle, baby bees. <laughs> Three. <laughs> we must understand Golden Boy's carnage. We first must understand the man. If he wasn't at this school, you would have been number one. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Brink would have made sure of it. He loved you. And Golden Boy killed him. That doesn't upset you? Of course it does. So there you go. Have you always been angry at Golden Boy? No. I loved him. You're one of the most powerful heroes on campus. Yet you drop out of criminology and change your major to... Hero management? I was gonna be his manager. How did you not know he was this disturbed? It kills me that I missed it. Take that glove off, I take your fucking hand off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm just nervous. What did he say to you just before he died? That he loved me. How long have you been eating Golden Boy's girlfriend's hole? Is that why he blew himself up? What do you mean? You wanted what Golden Boy had, his girlfriend, the number one spot. He found out about you and Kate cracked. Am I right? No. I think we should take five. You're a fucking hack. Andre. No, no, no. No camera can hide the fact that you're just, you're just a small man playing fucking hero because you've never been one. No, you get treated like a god here. 
But what kind of heroes took fucking chicken shit to do anything heroic? Fuck this. Fuck you. We'll find it in the edit. <laughs> Whenever I say something nice, your voice gets all twisted. Yeah. Yeah. Like it isn't true. Look, I appreciate the compliment, but... That's clever. I mean, my superpower is puking. It's embarrassing, you know? And honestly, after what you did for me, I would uh, eat your puke. <laughs> you know, I take it back, you are sick. I know! You okay? Maybe not. He was all I had, so... I'm here now. With you. And I'm pretty cool. I know you're cool. That's, that's why I'm positive you'll leave. Trust me, I got nowhere to go. I guess that is just us. Together. She's really fall for him quick. It kind of works, though. More of, the, more of that back there? Yes. But fair warning, my puke tastes a lot better. I can bake you a bowl. We're both sick. Yeah. Yeah, she's crushing on him. Something's gonna go wrong with that, though. Please stop. Uh-oh. Shut up! Uh, yeah, see, there are bigger problems. I mean, maybe he really is schizophrenic. Your roommate's Emma, right? She's the one who gets small. Have you seen her recently? What's this about? I'm just checking she's okay. She missed a few classes. It's no big deal. Come on, Jordan. Are you going to be cool? Welcome, a son of God, you. Tech Knight. Mm. I will need a volunteer. Marie Moreau, the guardian of Godolkin. When you start out, you want to establish a baseline and build a rapport. Walk me through that day. Oh, he's going to fuck her up. I told this story a lot. Not the whole story. Why were you going to see Brink? I wanted to discuss my class schedule. Mm. Pupil dilation. Why were you really there? Was it to talk about his distaste for you? Bullseye. Heart rate just elevated. Your powers are, uh, nasty. There's no way he would admit you. And yet here I am. What do you know? Nothing. He was going to expel you, wasn't he? No. Were you in on it with Luke? No, I didn't do anything. Now or then? Then, now, both. Which I, is it? I couldn't stop Luke. I went to Brinks because he kicked me out. I saw Luke and I fucking ran. And the only reason I'm still alive is because Jordan Lee held him off long enough for me to get away. Jordan's the hero, not me. And that's how you break a witness, folks. Yeah, fuck that. I mean, it's supposed to be volunteers. She could have said, nah. It's not her bus. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I can't pin this on any of these kids. Pity. For your show, I mean. Which is why I'm gonna pin it on you. Yeah, I knew he was gonna say that. You're right. I shouldn't go after the top five. They could be real earners. You, on the other hand, well, you're just a human. You have no evidence I've done anything wrong. What about Sam escaping from the woods? Yeah, I saw it on your face when I first brought up his name. Wait till Vaud finds out. I'd say taking the fall for Golden Boy is getting off easy. Thanks for all your help. Damn. He's a scary dude. I mean, is that his superpower? Is he can just notice small bodily changes? Hey, man, can we talk? You can't run forever, you know. Yeah, buddy, they're gonna find you. And hurt you again. Just leave me alone, television's Jason Ritter. <laughs> They'll hurt her too. And it'll be all your fault you couldn't protect her. No, no, I won't let them. There's only one way to make sure, bro. You know who hurt you. He hurts everyone in the woods. Dr. Cardosa. <laughs> you know what you have to do. You have to kill him. Just, just, just. Hey, what do you mean? <sighs> Who's him? Dr. Cardosa. Haven't you been listening? He's dangerous and I have to stop him. No! No more talking! Just stop! Well, who's Dr. Cardosa, Sam? He hurt me and he won't leave me alone. Okay, Sam, I don't know what's wrong. What can I do? How no, can I help? You... Sam!
Oh, he jumps like Queen Maeve, that's what they said. So he basically hallucinates. He does have some kind of a schizophrenia. Andre? You think anyone will know it was me? Oh, I... <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without you. What did I do? Nothing. That's all I want right now. In that case, you're welcome. She seems sweet. A little bit of alcoholism. What the hell was that back there? I said the truth, finally. And now Tech Knight's probably gonna crucify me and I'm gonna get expelled. I didn't ask you to do that. Yeah, you did. Several fucking times, actually. But I didn't want you to bury yourself in the process. You keep doing the dumb thing. Fuck. I don't mean you're stupid. You're fucking smart. So what's your angle? My angle is that sometimes people don't have an angle. Sometimes they're just actual human beings. <laughs> Jordan's like, yeah, I don't trust that. You said I was scared. I was just talking shit. Okay, you're the only one who actually fought Golden Boy. Yeah, but I'm so fucking scared. Don't be. What is she scared of? Oh, she wants to make out with her? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not what you meant. No. <laughs> that's kind of wild. Holy shit! A lot is happening. Are you okay? Uh, sorry, Sam's going after Dr. Cardosa. We have to stop him. Who? Luke's brother. It's actually kind of hot. No, who's Cardosa? <laughs> Dr. Cardosa. He used to work with Brink. I know where he lives. Oh, shit. You have a small tumor in your brain. It will eventually be fatal, but I imagine you already know that. You also know it's the cause of your, shall we say, unusual proclivity. I don't know what you mean. Compilation of your greatest hits. What does he want to do? Fuck bagels? <laughs> what, what do you want? You not to... The... There's nothing to find at God, you, or with me. Nothing to tell Vought and no reason to stay. Long as you're off campus by end of day, this video stays off Instagram. Good. That's how you play the game. Godolkin University remains as resilient as ever. <laughs> For the young super able to blossom into their abilities. With this case behind me, I move on to the next mystery. To seek out the whole truth. We good? Uh, give me a few minutes alone, please. <laughs> that was fucking funny. Ridiculous. So it should be called The Whole Truth. With an H. I'm home. Uh oh. Daddy! Sam, Sam, look at me. Look at me. Whatever you need, I can get for you. Just let my family go, please. They're not real! Just... You don't have to do this, okay? Sam, you don't want to do this. I know you. You, you, you. I escaped and you caught me. You, 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 you're one of them! We didn't know who you were then. Sam, let us help you. No! You are not touching me again. Take it the fuck out of here! We're all fucking puppets! Sam, you said I was your hero. Okay, let me help you again. D no, they're not! The fuck is this problem? What did you just say? <laughs> What's she gonna do small? Sam, Sam, we love Luke. When we found out he was trying to rescue you, we tried to help. Sam! Oh shit! We didn't know she could do this. Oh, let me go! Sam, you're alright. I'm here. You're okay. They're gonna put us back in the woods. I have to stop them. Why won't you let me stop them? Hey! Wherever we go, we promise we're in this together. Sam, we're gonna make this right. I promise. We'll pre 
What? Oh shit. <laughs> She's in bed with Come on. Is it worth it? <laughs> Well, that was weird. That was a weird ending because what the hell happened? She was in mid sentence and then she just blacked out. So a few weird things happened here. That obviously weird. Blacked out and wakes up in bed with him. She blacked out earlier, but that was because the mind guy did it to her. But when that happened, she had also exploded his penis, which how'd she do that? That's not a power she's supposedly ever had before. So I feel like there's some shifty something's going on. Like that's all that's just, all that's just, I mean, obviously this last little thing's left unexplained, but the blowing up the penis thing's completely left unexplained. They're just like, how'd you do that? And she's like, I have no idea. End of story. That makes me think she maybe she didn't do it. Maybe Jordan did it. The combination of those two things and then Jordan kind of being figuring real prominently in this episode, you know, and her, you know, making out earlier and then this makes this a very confusing episode. There's some too many weird little disjointed. I mean, I guess if we could take the if you take the incident with the telepathic dude at its face value. I mean, there was a brief scene of Jordan seeing her go up to the telepathic dude in the first place, which explains maybe then why Jordan had followed them and is the one banging on the door. If we take that at face value, then all we know is the dude's penis blew up. We kind of assume that Marie did it, but that doesn't really make sense. We don't really know that Jordan has that power. Jordan seems to have been the only other person there. Um, so we don't know what that's about. But then she just had another incident where she just blacks out and wakes up. And she's with Jordan. Which the telepathic dude was nowhere around when that happened. So that seems very strange. So I don't know. I expect there to be more for that to get explained a little bit further in the next couple of episodes, I would imagine. I mean, I think there's only, well, how many episodes? This is four. I think there's only eight. Also, we never saw Emma get big. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I didn't even really think about her being able to do that, but obviously she could. That was pretty cool. She just went and gorged herself real quick and got real big. So that's a really intriguing ending. Man, I really love the love the relationships of all these characters. And I guess unless there's something more going on, it definitely looks like Sam is just basically schizophrenic. He's got these hallucinations and he and he probably was off his meds for a 24 hours or something after and the hallucinations started to come back. And then the whole thing, I guess, with Tech Knight I do feel like also his name was mentioned somewhere before. Like Tech Knight. Unless I just know that because it's from a, something else. But I feel like it was mentioned in the Vought universe somewhere. Like in the boys at some point. But I can't remember what the reference was. Like, but he was, I don't think his character was ever shown in it. I just think he was like referred to or something. I can almost hear Billy Butcher re talking about Tech Knight. And then I guess his power, whatever, his power didn't seem to be too clear either, other than he was super sensitive to minute changes in someone's bodily functions so that he could kind of tell whether you're lying or not. And then he's got a brain tumor that's causing him to want to stick his dick in every hole that he comes across. <laughs> that was really funny at the end when he looks at that little knot hole in the tree. I was like, I'm going to need some time. Wow. That's a trip. All right, that was a cool show. Well, anyway, let's just move on from there. I'm dying to see what happens with this show. All right, like, subscribe, comment. If you like full reactions or early reactions, the link to my Patreon is down below, and we will see you later. Thanks. Bye.